All right, today we're going on a short scout. No tactical gear. We're using haversacks, moccasins. We're going old school. So hold on, we'll be right back. All right, so I've been wanting a haversack or a possibles bag, whatever you want to call it. And my father-in-law gave me a bunch of this uh, tanned hide. I'm not sure if it's deer or goat. It's really, really nice stuff, but I decided I needed to make a possibles bag or haversack or however you want to call it or name it. There's so many different things that you could consider it. Now, as you can see, it's this is the original color. And that's what it is now. I used uh, coffee. I soaked it in coffee and let it dry. So it gave it a little bit darker color there. So if I wanted to do it again, you know, I could probably even make a darker roast of coffee and make it a little darker yet. But right now, this will work. So this is what we've got. Uh, today, I will be wearing my moccasins because these things are comfortable as crap we're going to be wearing the silver stag I think this one's called the big game this is a d2 steel with the I believe that is deer antler so we're doing kind of a minimalist scouting trip today. I will be taking just a little bit of instant oats and corn nuts because that's the closest thing I could get to the uh, parched corn that they used to carry back in the day. So we're doing just corn nuts. I will be taking the little Frontier water filter straw system. I will be having some paracord because I never leave home without it. Uh, I will be carrying the little electric lighter. I'm going to carry the Shamab just because this thing comes in handy for so many different things. So we're going to take it with us. Alright, so I've just been walking around kind of scouting where the animals are moving. It's really early yet. Deer season's a couple months off. See all along here, the deer traveling this bottom. Right, you can see this tree is denned out. Okay, right there's another reason that when you're out in the woods you really got to watch where you're going where you're stopping if you're gonna build any kind of a shelter you got to watch out for these deadfalls and with these tall trees sometimes if you look up you'll actually see where the top of one is 
just hanging on to the top of another. I don't know, a whole bunch of these beech trees. So I just looked into it, and the nut that comes off the beech tree is like an acorn. It it contains tannins and some toxins, so really should be cooked before eaten. So there's some hickories over this way, and I know those are good. So now I know what the beech trees are and what beech nuts are. So I just learned all this today. Okay, so just pulled up the May apple on the old phone. I got a screenshot of the info that I got for it, so I'll put that in the video. So if you find the yellow ripened fruit of the May apple, that is not dinner. So today we've learned about beech trees, beech nuts, May apple, and May apple fruit. That's two things we learned today that we didn't know this morning. <laughs> How good is that?